Alright, so a quick tip when working with the red files, if you choose to download the red source files for uh, Hypnotic Inks, you're going to have great flexibility and plus it's going to give you uh, an option to just work with red files. So in this case I'm just going to use one of the uh, Color Bomb ink elements. So first and foremost I suggest depending on the type of computer you're working on, you can always right click on your screen here go to playback resolution and bump down the quality just so that you have smooth playback. So once you have your red file in the timeline you can highlight your clip and go over to where your effects control panel is and right next to it you're going to see a master control. And this master control is where you can access your red source settings and here we can change the gamma curve it's going to increase our exposure. I'm just going to bump the shadows and uh, moving down, increase the brightness. So you can see you just have a lot of different options built directly into the red source file for you to change and in increase the color value and you can see you have your own curves built right into the file as well so you have a wide array of possibilities to just change and manipulate the color spectrum per shot again you have a lot of flexibility with the red files so enjoy mm -hmm.